I'm going to do some random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong. If you're new to Mahjong, this is the best place to start. This is the easiest version to learn. You need four sets and a pair. Sets can be three in a sequence or three of a kind. Since there's four of every tile, you could also have a four of a kind. These blocks are called Chows, Pungs, and Kongs, respectively. If you want to know more about it, look for a link in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals. Also, you can download this player reference. That way, you can follow along with my videos. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do four random pulls, one for each wind of the round, starting with East Round. I'll roll these dice to randomize which seat we're in for each exercise. I rolled a five, so we're going to be player one. Player one is the dealer. They start the game with 14 tiles. For these random pulls, we're going to say there's a three fawn minimum. Here we have a pair, pair, single honors. If we're going to get to three fawn, we need more score. So I think what I would do here is discard cracks and dots. Keep the one. If we pair up, go for all pung, all three of a kind. If we do not and draw in bams, play half flush. All pung is three fawn, half flush is three fawn. Obviously we need chow tiles and we need to pair up these single honors so that we can pung. So I would start this one by discarding these singles, offsuit tiles. Focus on bams, honors, or all pung. South round. I rolled a 10. Two, four, six, eight, 10. 10 is player two. 13 tiles. We have no flowers. That's a fawn. I think in the last one we had no flowers also but the thing is you can't really count on no flowers because the minute you draw a flower if it's not your seat you lose it so i try not to even count that that would just be bonus so here we have two bams two cracks six dots and single honors i would try a half flush here one suit with winds and dragons that would be three fawn here we have potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. We would just need to pair up and pung one more time. And then of course the pair. But you might think too, well why not just do a chow here? That would leave an isolated tile when we could actually break that out and potentially pung. So same here, here's a four, five, six chow. But if we break it off, here we have one, two, three blocks. You need five blocks with a pair. So we have potential chow, potential chow, potential pung. This is where we would need to pair up so that we could pung. Unless we draw more dots, which is more efficient because you can chow or pung, but with the winds and dragons, you can only pung. Even though they may bring extra value, they're limited. So here we have south round and we are south seat. If we can pair up and pung here, we could get two fawn for that. This is a dragon. Any pung of dragons is a fawn. So 
this may or may not bring value, but it can still help us get to a half flush. So I would hold all those tiles, discard these, play half flush. That would be three fawn minimum. Now we're going to do west round. This time, let's say we're in north seat. That's 13 tiles. Three flowers, including a four. We get score for that. One fawn, three flowers. So let's get three tiles. We need two fawn in here. Half flesh is three fawn. I would hold the eight dot. If we pair up more, we could go for all pung, but we only have two pair. That's why I would just hold this and focus on half flush. Here's another pair, but I think a half flush has more flexibility when you only start out with two pair. Be a long haul for all pung. Here we could potentially chow, chow. These two are isolated, so we would need, obviously, more cracks. Pair up and pung. It's west round, and we are in north seat. So if we pair up and pung the west, we could get extra score for that. So I would hold cracks and wins, dragons if we get them. Hold this to see if we pair up. Start by discarding these. North round. I rolled a six. That would be player two. Non-dealer. 13 tiles. four flower. That's not going to give us any score. We need our seat, which is two. I would play a half flush. Hold this in case we pair up. We have a pair right here, but I think we're closer to chows in these bams. Pair up and pung maybe the wins in the dragon. We're in north round, we do have a north. So if we pair up and pung this, pair up and pung this, that could give us score. I would start by discarding here, hold that to see if we pair up. More likely than not, half flesh. Sacrifice the pair. Don't forget to look for the link in the video description below so that you can learn the fundamentals if you're new to the game. And you can download this player reference. If you already know how to play and you're just wanting to build your skills, I hope this gave you an idea of how to play at a three fawn table. You gotta find score in those dealt tiles and be the first to a winning combination. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next set of random pulls for Hong Kong Mahjong, may all your picks be keepers.